Well, we've always been about video, and um, in 2008, um, I founded Pixability out of MIT, and I saw that video was a large opportunity. I saw YouTube had been acquired, and I knew that there would just be a business there. So it took us a little bit to figure out where people would actually spend money. Um, and we started in 2010 with video marketing software. And then uh, we actually pivoted over to the advertising side. So today, we help large brands and their agencies place their YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter advertising. Um, and we help them, we help with the planning, we help with the execution, we help with the reporting and the analysis, and we have a software suite that does that. Wow, so tell us about the growth in the industry. I mean, obviously Facebook video has gone crazy and Twitter has they've made a big pivot or big extension of their video platform. What's happening in terms of opportunities uh, on those platforms? And well, right now, we are in a great spot as companies that are active in that space. Um, more than 100% of every new digital dollar right now is going to either Google or Facebook. And so we profit a lot from that. Um, you know, video advertising is all the range, rage. <laughs> um, people are not watching linear television like they used to, um, especially in the young demographics. So um, all of the confluence of all of those events actually makes for great growth for our company. So not to get too deep in the weeds of ad ops, but how are you integrated and how closely do you work with Facebook, Twitter, Google, and in other words, is it, is it an open system? Do you have exclusive kind of relations or explain how it works? So uh, we tap into the public APIs that are available on all these platforms. Um, for some of them, we have to qualify for certain API quotas and all of that. And we've been working, obviously, for many, many years with these platforms, YouTube being the one that we've worked with longest. Um, for Facebook, they recruited us in to be on their platform. With uh, Twitter, we also started building a really great relationship. Um, and Instagram, obviously, is part of Facebook, um, so we can use the same APIs there. And we tap into a number of their public APIs, um, and we frequently work with them on alpha and betas to sort of influence these large behemoths on behalf of our advertisers and you know advocate for their needs. Um, because we work with some of the largest brands in the world, we actually get to give that feedback directly to the engineers, the product managers, and help them understand what a brand needs when they do video advertising. So speaking of which, what do brands need now? They need a lot of different things, and there's many different kinds of clients, but what are the opportunities you know, in social media video, I guess what you would call your platforms, that your brands need and why they're coming to you and the service that they need from Pixability? Well, as I mentioned, their audience is moving away from television. Their audience is annoyed by video on the open web. So brands go to these walled garden platforms because they are very well policed. Um, you know, it's well lit, there's not a lot of fraud, um, the viewability is high, and all of those things bring them to these platforms. And once they're there, they need to make sure that they find the exact audience that they need. And we've collected over the years so much data on that um, that we can help them get the performance that they need, um, you know, all the hit all the KPIs, which differ a lot from advertiser to advertiser, help them hit that um, and make them and their agencies look really good. So how is the, uh, the pie? I'm sure a lot of agencies, of course, go direct to these platforms. And your case is that they should go through you to help. Um, what is the value, instead of making a direct buy with Twitter, to go through you or direct buy with Facebook or the others? Well, you have to see that if you make a direct buy, um, it's essentially a fox in the hen house approach. You're grading your own homework. Right, um, so um, platforms profit when players like us come in and help advocate for those brands' needs, and the brands profit because they can 
they can get that balance of power that they really want. The brands don't necessarily want to give 100% of every new digital dollar to Facebook um, or to Google, but they understand that that's where their audience is. So they want a checks and balances system there. And uh, we certainly more than earn our keep by the performance improvements um, that we provide through our software. So um, that's why they go through us. Awesome. And finally, Bettina, what's the roadmap for you? How do you see the company developing in terms of product offerings, the scope of what you're doing over the next 12 months? Well, we see expanding into more social platforms. More and more platforms are bringing out viable video advertising formats. Um, you know, I'm not going to comment exactly on which ones we're going to do, but um, you can probably guess at them. And we also see possibilities in OTT, for example. Our customers are interested in that. Um, everywhere where young audiences are migrating is um, what's interesting for Pixability because we represent those brands that need to find those audiences where they're going.